Because we already know that this game has the word Gator in it, and it's in Florida, and we don't have to be worried about Will Muschamp being involved in this game at all, here are three reasons why to absolutely watch the Gator Bowl. Number one, Randy Gregory, Nebraska defensive end. He's a JUCO transfer, he's raw off the edge, he is destructive. He's gonna get after this Georgia backfield as often as humanly possible. He's a pleasure to watch. He gets around the corner really quickly. He is going to be responsible for chaos. Number two, big storyline in this game, especially with Georgia and Nebraska playing in a bowl game last year, it's two teams in quarterback transition. Tommy Armstrong should be starting for Nebraska with Taylor Martinez's college career pretty much actually done with a foot injury, and Aaron Murray's college career done with an ACL injury. Hudson Mason steps in for Georgia. It's a good look at the future of these programs, obviously on offense, see what Tommy Armstrong can do in not turning the ball over, see what Hudson Mason can do, giving it to Todd Gurley, spreading the ball around to some talented receivers. And number three, numbers to pay attention to in this game, negative 1.0 for Nebraska and negative 0.5 for Georgia, as in both of these teams' turnover margin. What happens when you have two teams that turn the ball over more than they turn other teams over? Fun, interceptions, fumbles, madness. This game could be 35-31 with all sorts of pick sixes and weird fumble touchdowns. You're gonna watch that. So Nebraska and Randy Gregory, the future of the quarterback position for these two huge programs and turnover madness are three reasons why you should absolutely watch the Gator Bowl. For more on Nebraska, be sure to check out Corn Nation and for more on Georgia, be sure to check out Dog Sports on the SB Nation Network. See you soon.